and today we are tie-dyeing scrunchies. So here I have my scrunchies on my little candle holder that I got in my haul, linked in the corner. And then here I have my little tie-dye kit. We have pink, yellow, and orange, and those are the colors we're going to be using today. So it'll create kind of a little sunset pattern on the scrunchie. And then also here I have a bowl of hot water, and it's also salty water, because I read somewhere that salt water will help you tie-dye. So we have that, and also I already washed all these scrunchies, so they're clean and ready to be tie-dyed. Okay, so here we're just gonna open it. I haven't opened it yet, so. so. Here are the colors, and now I should probably read the instructions, or I could just not. In general direction. Shake bottle. Wash all garments already done. Cover surface, good. We've got a towel here. Create your project. That's it. Got it. Um, so now I need paper towels, so I should probably get that. Instead of getting paper towels, we're just gonna get an ugly towel to put on top of this nice towel. How lovely is that? Okay, so now we just ruined the aesthetic, but that's okay. So I'm going to try different ways. Um, if you put them in the water first, then they'll come up less saturated. And if you leave them dry, when you color them, they'll be more saturated. And also I'm using little spray dyes today because that's what I found in colors that I liked. So yes, start with the dry scrunchies and then I'm going to put some in the water so they can soak. So I bought these three specifically for the project. They're just from Hobby Lobby and they were cheap, they're just velvet scrunchies, and then these are ones that I had already. These are my only white scrunchies, so I might just keep one. That one can go in the water, and then maybe we'll do that one in the water. Dry, dry. We'll just start with two in the water. Okay, so we're gonna start with the dry scrunchie. We'll start with the velvet one. I need rubber bands. So seeing as I do not have rubber bands, we're going to use hair tights to scrunch up the scrunchies like rubber bands would do. So the first thing I like, I did a little bit of research, like five minutes of research, but it's fine. I just rolled it up in a ball and then tied it. So I'll do that for one. Okay, we have a scrunchie ball. So here we have our scrunchie ball. And I'm just gonna spray it with the colors. Um, I guess I'll do all three for this one. This comes out more saturated than I expected, so we're just gonna... Now we're going in orange. Okay, so here's what the scrunchie looks like all balled up. Now I'm just gonna set it right here. Oh, look at this mess and leave it to dry a little bit. And then we're also doing this scrunchie dry squirting it. So let's do that. This one I might do a little different. It's funny because a scrunchie is a hair tie and I'm scrunching it up with the hair tie. Mm, I kind of want this one to be more separated. So let's, let's create a, a barrier, except it's only on my hand. I'm coming home. This is very yellow, as you can tell. Um, I don't know, orange on the side. Orange. As you can see, we are using some very professional techniques. Uh huh. Um. Yeah. So that one's done. I'll probably like re-squirt it after it's dry. But that's what that one's gonna look like. Good thing I hate this towel, and good thing I didn't use the pink towel, because I like that one. Okay, now we're gonna do the wet ones. Those have been soaking for a little bit. Make up for months that we've missed, cause the cold air is calling. Okay, so I'll start with this one. This is the same velvet one as the one that I dry squirted that's there. Okay, so this one I'll do pink and yellow only. And this one we're gonna squirt without scrunching it up. Lips are calling and my heart's recalling the way I could never resist. It's been so hard, but no, I wanted to stay close. So and we'll just 
do squirt, squirt. And then squirt, squirt. So, okay, so that's what that one looks like for now. And then we have this other one that's just like a normal um, fabric scrunchie. Your yeah, matte one, I shall do just orange and yellow. We're gonna tie it. This is a very dangerous process. Okay, so that one's just orange and yellow. So now I have a few left. I don't know which one I want to keep. Okay, this one's a mesh scrunchie, so it should be pretty fun to do. How about pink and orange? We're just gonna, I don't know. Okay, so that's that one for now. And then we have one more left, and it is another velvet one. I could just do pink. Okay, now we're balling it up with a little bit of strategic movement. And we can keep it with just one tie on it. And I'm going to spray this one just pink. We're gonna really saturate this one. Okay, so all the scrunchies are all like colored up. Probably when I unroll them, I'm going to um, maybe respray them and we'll see how they turn out in the next clip. enough to let these dry on their own so I used a hair dryer these two I did tie up so they're already what they're gonna look like so we're just gonna yeah they're kind of a mess actually Oop, they're still a little bit wet so I'm gonna open up these ones because that's fun right should I do a close-up <laughs> fully and then I'll show you what they look like at the end of their little cycle. Okay, so these scrunchies are officially dry. Um, I did hair dry them again with the little hair dryer, but that's okay. So here they all are, I'll show you them one by one and then I'll show a close up as well. So we have this one, this one I scrunched into a little ball and then sprayed all the colors on it and it turned out nicely. Then we have this one, this one I like folded and then sprayed it and then refolded it a few times to get these colors and I used all three colors. This one I only used orange and yellow. I twisted them together, and that's how it turned out. And then this one I think. 
think I balled it up again and I used pink and yellow mostly and then added a bit of orange. So that's what that one looks like. And then this is the mesh one. I just used pink and orange and then added a little bit of yellow at the end. So that's that one. And then this one, I think, this is the one that I just sprayed pink and then I ended up adding more colors because the pink looked too boring. And the ones that I think turned out the best would be the ones that I scrunched into a ball, so this one especially, and then the ones that I folded. And also these are the two that I dry sprayed, which ended up turning out better than the ones that were already wet. So yeah, if you do this on your own, I recommend that you either like roll into a ball or fold it and then um, use it dry. Don't get them saturated in water first. So here they all are on my little scrunchie holder. I kind of didn't really think about this before getting only three colors, but they all look pretty much the same. Now I was going to get more colors, but then I decided to go with a cheaper route with more colors that were my type of color. Yeah. So this is what they all look like. So here are all the scrunchies and that is all for this video. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed my little tie-dyeing scrunchies video. Anyways, like it if you like these videos, if you like DIY videos, and also subscribe to see more DIY videos because that's what will be coming out in the near future. And comment of the week, what is your favorite color? Clearly my favorite color are bright colors in general, so that's my favorite. Hey, also comment if you want to see me tie dye anything else because I have a bunch of the colors left and I have no use for them at the moment. That's all. Anyways, I will see you next Monday. Bye.